Hi guys, uh, today uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple resume and maintain it online. First you need to go to this URL right here. So this is uh, an application which uh, automatically builds and deploys websites built using different uh, static site generators. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste this in the show notes. So first you need to visit that URL and then click on uh, this button right here and as soon as you do that if you don't have an account on uh, on Zomo it'll be taken to the sign up page now on the sign up page uh, I can either manually sign up or click on the sign up using the top button let me do that and uh, this app only uh, acts, uh, accesses the public repositories so your private repositories uh, are you know are, are not accessible to this application so uh, you know you can go ahead and uh, authorize that application and as soon as you do that uh, we come back to the home page of Zemo and if I go to themes and the resume man theme uh, this uh, this is a nice theme which allows you to create a resume online let me click on that button once again and uh, it says it has started cloning the repository you should see it on the home page in a minute so let me refresh uh, my home page and uh, yes uh, now I see that uh, I have a, I have a website with a build running so if I look at the build um, that's the build log this is Zamo building the application for us so once this is done, I should be able to view the resume. All right. So now that uh, the build is done and it has uh, pushed a cool to GitHub pages, we should be able to view the website. So let me go to the top, and you can see the website should be visible on that URL. Let me click that, and uh, let me refresh this page. I think this is cached here. Yeah. So now you can see it has a resume with uh, uh, with a sample text filled out here. Uh, another thing I want to do now is uh, set up the domain. So I've already purchased a domain uh, with the name Tazim.in and uh, I want to set up this website on the C main resume. So the final website would be resume.tazim.in. So what I need to do to get that working is uh, copy this uh, uh, Zambu's C name and uh, paste it in your uh, C name target and uh, use the resume for a C name or you know, whatever you like and create that C name. And uh, once we do that, our website should be visible on resume.tazine.in and um, another thing I want to do quickly is go to GitHub. Uh, let me refresh this page. So when when we added that uh, theme, it has added a repository to our uh, GitHub account. And uh, if I visit the GitHub account, go to Data, and uh, click on uh, Resume.yaml, I can edit this file and fill out my name. Uh, so let me fill out my name here. Designer at somewhere, right? And you know, you know, we can fill up the other details, but let me commit here, updated name. And uh, as soon as I commit, uh, as soon as I commit, Zamu should take this file and start building uh, the website again. So if you go to Zamu, uh, go to the home page of Resume Man, uh, you see that there is another build running now. So this is automatic. As soon as you uh, make changes to your Git repository and push it to GitHub, uh, Zamu uh, starts a build and uh, deploys that website once the build is complete. So now the build is complete and uh, if I go to resume.in 
I should be able to see my website. And uh, so yeah, another thing we forgot to do was uh, change the domain name. So let me go to the website here because we did not uh, set this up with a proper domain. Let me click on the edit button and set up the domain on which uh, it needs to be hosted. So once I do that, so whenever you change the domain, you'll have to trigger the build manually. So that's one time when you'll have to you know, do a manual trigger. Uh, but let's let's let this build uh, finish so now that the build is complete if I refresh the page here uh, you'll see that it has updated the resume and the title and the other neat thing about this uh, theme is it even gives you a PDF so you can download it.